What's up, guys? Today we'll be talking about the Brown Sequard syndrome. What is the Brown Sequard syndrome, and how does it manifest? And um, those are the things that we'll be looking at. Okay, Brown Sequard syndrome. So, um, question here is: uh, State the neurological um, deficits observed in Brown Sequard syndrome. Okay. Then also provide uh, the neuroanatomy reasons for your answer. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, the Brown Sequard syndrome is produced by the lateral hemisection. Um, it is produced by the lateral hemisection of the spinal cord. That's injury to the one half as a result of maybe bullets or knife wound and stuff like that. All right. So uh, the Brown Sequard syndrome, all right, so it's just a hemisection. All right, hemisection is like half, sectioning of half, okay, the spinal cord. And what are the presenting features of the Brown Sequard syndrome? At the level of the lesion, we have um, ipsilateral flaccid uh, paralysis, and this is due to a um, lower motor neuron lesion, all right, uh, that's damage to the ventral root. Then we also have the ipsilateral anesthesia over the dermatomes supplied by the seg segment of the lesion. And this is due to the damage on the dosal nerve root. Okay. We also have uh, ipsilateral hyperesthesia, okay, or radicular pain. And this is due to the damage to the dosal nerve root too. Okay, so Brown Sequard syndrome. Um, this is just um, extra knowledge. You could just pause this video to check it out. Then um, how about below the level of the lesion? Uh, we have um, ipsilateral spastic paralysis. Um, due to the upper motor neuron that's damaged the pyramid pyramidal tract and um, ipsilateral loss of nice sensation that's vibration proprioception two-point discrimination and light touch and this is due to damage to the posterior white column okay then how about the contralateral loss of um hasty sensation um we have pain and temperature and this is due to damage to the lateral um, spinothalamic tract okay um, contralateral loss of hasty sensation. Okay, guys, we are done talking about the Brown Sequard syndrome, and let's proceed to the next question.